Hello guys, so this week was hometown dates, which is probably my favorite week. So I'm pretty much just gonna get right into it with Nick's date, which started out with cheese hats and the polka, which I was a little bit confused about. I don't know where really the romance is there, but I mean, that's fine. Eventually she ends up going and meeting the family. And I didn't realize that this TV show had changed from The Bachelorette to 19 Kids and Counting. It's like she was meeting the Duggars. There was siblings everywhere and husbands and children and it was just very overwhelming and terrifying for me so I can imagine how it would be for Andy. My favorite part of that date was when Andy was talking to the little sister who was asking all of these invasive questions but then didn't end up remembering any of the answers to them so she was of no help at all. I was totally expecting her to be like one of those movies where like she's all sweet and nice and she closes her bedroom door and is like stay away from my brother or I'll kill you <laughs> or something like that but she wasn't so I mean I guess that was pretty good. Chris brings Andy to his farm, which I mean, wouldn't exactly be a place where I would flourish, but Andy seems to be doing really well. Um, he does that, oh my gosh, he does that plane in the sky thing that says Chris loves Andy, and I really think it just confirms that he is just one of the sweetest guys ever. And then she goes and meets his family, which is the sweetest family ever. I think that they were so fun, they were funny, I really liked them and that just they just totally impressed me that's all I have to say I really like them I'm not totally confident about Chris and Andy's undying love but I have undying love for his family so there we go beautiful Josh brings Andy on the most depressing game of baseball possibly ever played and then perfect Josh brings Andy to meet his perfect family. They were all beautiful and stunning and handsome and muscular and thin and all the good things that you wanna be. But I didn't like that it seemed like this family had a king and it was King younger brother Aaron and that was just awkward. And they were asking a lot of her like, every Sunday you're gonna come to Aaron's games, right? She's probably thinking, what the hell? I just met him, I don't care about Aaron's games. Then they all play football outside together in the backyard and the women are wearing heels and the sister's wearing those weird pants and I just have a really hard time believing that that's something that happens in their day-to-day -day life. That the mother and the sister and the brother and the father or whatever are all playing football against each other but maybe it was just just to make Andy feel included. Last but not least or last but least because we know how it ends. Um, Marcus uh, takes Andy to recreate their first stripper date which was a little bit invasive for me to watch, but whatever. Honestly, his family was pretty normal. I don't really have too many, too many comments to make right now. The sister and the niece and the mom, they were, I don't know, they were all nice, but I think they weren't really that exciting. Like the other family seemed to be a little bit more funny or warm and maybe that was the reason that Andy ended up sending him home. The whole situation where they were talking about Eric Hill's death, that was pretty difficult to watch. I mean, it's so sad and especially, Honestly, I think a lot of the guys, not that they don't care, but it's just they probably didn't really know each other for like that well. I mean, Eric left pretty early on and I feel like more than anything, Andy would be the one to feel super bad considering he was one of the only guys who left on such negative terms. And then moving on to the cocktail ceremony, which I already said how it ended, Marcus goes home. And I think that this is probably one of the most awkward weeks to go home because it's like, you know, I met your family and they just weren't really good enough and so you can blame them. Anyways, next week, the three, when there's three of them left and they do those really classy overnight dates. Can't wait to comment about that. And um, yeah, I will see you guys next week. Stay away from my brother or I'll kill you.